In order to be a business professional, you've got to invest some time to know the business you're in, know the core principles of that business. And that information is all available. You have to start to think strategically, as well as critical and analytical thinking, as well as keeping an eye on the day to day. And the analogy I use is one eye needs to be a telescope, keeping focus on where you're going. One eye needs to be a microscope so that you keep your eye on the day to day and don't get lost in the details. It's critically important. It's doable. You've got to be able to lead change. I used to announce, introduce myself at employee meetings as I'm them or I'm they. You know, they said we can't do this. So I was they. I didn't mind it. And it's easy to fall into the trap when people don't want to do what they said you need to do and complain about it. Again, I said the HR professional doesn't have an agenda. So you, how do you figure out a way to lead people who are not happy about it through change? Change is hard. Nobody likes it. Mark Twain once said, the only person who likes change is a wet baby. So it's hard to do. And what you've got to do when you're involved in change is you've got to learn how to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Think about the first time you learned how to drive. You were, you were uncomfortable. But you knew that you had to get through that in order to get comfortable driving. And it's the same thing in our, in our business lives. You've got to be comfortable being uncomfortable in order to lead change. You've got to be a good communicator. And just, just talk a noun verb object. Don't, don't, don't be crazy. Don't be, don't be difficult. Don't make it more complicated than it needs to be. I think there's a gene in some of us, and I'm going to discover this one day, that when we go upright in bed, something in our, in our mind says, okay, how do we make simple stuff hard today? <laughs> we do that. You know people who do it. <laughs>